For the last summer color that we are making with our Make Your Own Polish Kit, we are going to do a purple, and so we are going to add 10 mils here of our base. Okay, and I want this to be a darker purple. Um, so I'm gonna start with my purple liquid concentrate and I'm noting this because if you were going to make a lighter purple or a more of a lilac, you would definitely want to start with your white first and then add your purple in. But because I know that I want this to be a little bit lighter, I'm going to start with my purple. And so here I've counted about five drops of purple. I may need more, but I'm going to start with that and I'm going to make sure also that I am keeping track of this on my recipe card so that I can remake it if I would like. And then when you're keeping track of your drops, we recommend um, using um, little hash marks to keep track so you can continue to add on to your recipe. So you can see here that we have a really, really dark purple. That's kind of close to what I want, but I know that um, I also need to check for the translucency or the opacity of my polish, and I can see that it's still very see-through. The absolute best liquid concentrate to help make your polish not see-through is white. So that is the most opaque liquid concentrate. I don't want to add too much, so I've counted roughly about three drops there that I've added to this. Okay, so I can definitely see that it is not very see-through with all of those liquid concentrates, but it's definitely a lot lighter than I wanted, so I'm going to continue to add more purple until I get to the shade that I want. The other option that I have is this um, purplish um, shimmery pigment um, mica that, that's in this kit. And this is a little bit darker. I wanna keep with the brightness, so I'm not going to add this. I also don't really need too much shimmer, but if I were gonna add shimmer to this, I would choose a, the, the white or the pearl here because I know that that will keep to the brightness that I would like. added another four drops of my purple liquid concentrate. So you can see a little bit of that is going to go a long way. And it's still not as dark as I want, so I'm going to keep adding. And so this is the um, iterative process that you can go through to tweak and perfect your color with one of our kits. So you can always continue to add, make it a little darker, make it a little bit lighter until you get just that perfect shade. And I also wanna note that during this, you can also test your colors up here. And if you're worried about the transparency, testing the color over the black ink line that's here will also give you a really good idea on how you're moving along the scale with um, adding your color too if that's a goal of your polish. So I'm going to add another four drops here. These are big drops. Okay. A little bit of a mess there. And there we go. And this is getting closer to the dark purple that I want. The other idea I also had for this color was to make it just a little bit less on the blue side and more on the red side. 
And so to do that, you can add just a little bit of red. So I kind of just want to do sort of like a um, half a drop, which is not really a thing, but you can kind of just try to get less than a full drop in there. So you can see like the little bubble that I have there. I'm just going to do like half a bubble out and stop the flow of the drop and just kind of put it on the side there and just go up and grab that color. and swirl it in to my polish. Not the most exact, but it's just what I wanna to do to kind of get it to the shade that I want. You can see just that little bit just brings a little bit more of a warmer look to this instead of the bluer part. So that can kind of help you if you're looking to just kind of tweak your color a little bit, but I do wanna make sure that I get this thoroughly mixed just keep coming up here and grabbing that, twirling it around. And I do think that I still want this a little bit darker. So I'm going to add more of my purple here. Just on the top. I'll just pull it back down in. I think that's just about the color that I wanted. So I can test it against this one that I just did up here. And you can see the one up here is a little bit more um, on the blue side, this is just a little bit more pink. If I wanted this to be more of um, an ultraviolet purple, I could add more of the red. But I'm pretty happy with this, so I'm going to go ahead and bottle it. And again, you want to make sure that you're filling the bottle up to the shoulder and not the neck. And then if you want to save your stirring sticks that we use here um, to mix up the polish, you can just let them dry and then you can use the other sides with the little points to make dots um, for nail art if you want. I'm just almost to the top here. Okay, I think I got that just about perfect. And there is my bright summer purple. And so to compare them to the other pinks that I made, again, with these kits, you can do pretty much any shade of pink, light, dark, fuchsia. Um, with this particular kit, you can also make a beautiful classic red. Um, you can do much darker purple than I did here. Um, but just to give you an idea of the range and the versatility, these are seasonless kits. Um, and you can just adjust the colors and your recipe season to season. So stay tuned for more of the summer 2021 new recipes that we're doing with our kids.